Jeremiah O'Donovan Rossa was arguably Ireland's best known and arguably its greatest Fenian. Uh, born in Roscarbury Parish in 1831 uh, into an Irish speaking background, he was both simultaneously a victim and a survivor of the famine which hit West Cork particularly hard. Uh, his father died, his mother and his siblings had to emigrate. He was a shopkeeper in Skibbereen and when he was there he founded the Phoenix uh, Society which effectively acted as a cover for the Fenian movement uh, in the Greater West Cork area. He was arrested and imprisoned initially, subsequently released, went back to Skibbereen, found it very difficult to settle there because he was effectively being, being boycotted by uh, the local landlords. Uh, he resumed his Fenian activities and this landed him with a sentence of penal servitude for life, uh, which he served in a variety of English jails in the late 1860s, during which he suffered horrendous prison treatment. It was, in effect, the Abu Ghraib scandal uh, of its day. Uh, upon his release, he was exiled to the United States, uh, became in, involved in advanced uh, Irish-American nationalism. Uh, upon his death in 1915, his body was returned to Ireland to be buried in Glasnevin Cemetery in Dublin. And that occasion was one of the, the great Irish political funerals and was, in effect, the, the dry run for the 1916 rising. The parade in Skibbereen uh, was designed to commemorate a, a natural parade, a natural demonstration that took place in March 1863, organised by Van Rossa and some of his uh, fellow advanced nationalists uh, in support of the Polish January Uprising, which was then in, in full flow in, in Poland. This was part of a longer tradition of support for Polish nationalism that was very, very strong in Ireland. Uh, the, police, the newspaper report suggested there was uh, as many as 6,000 demonstrators. It was an illegal march that every single one of those demonstrators uh, were liable to be arrested. Uh, but they, in effect, they faced down the authorities, proceeded with the march uh, as best they could, given the fact that uh, the authorities were, were interfering with them. 